see? Walnut tree, and they're all opening. What a pleasure. I must have about 20 in my pocket already. Look, they're all over, opening. And Mr. Squirrel ain't been here yet. See, they're all mine. Right, I'm picking. Bye. change to get the uh, walnuts one with the old secret squirrel he gets them so you don't tend to, tend to get a look in but this is a tree found and uh, it's a blooming good find too Look at this for a view, look. look. A little farmer's field that I go on. No one about. How it should be. I <laughs> don't think there's no one about. I think I'm strange talking to myself. Anyway. See you later. He's, uh boots that I've got on and the uh, Scarpa from Italy. Now I only bought them because like always it's because I've heard someone talk about something and how good it is. And this one is Mark's fault from my explorer. Hello Mark. These are the boots you made me buy <laughs> because of your video you made about Lofty Wiseman. The sky looks a bit moody. <coughs> but yeah, it was you that suggest well, put out there that you'd got a pair of these boots. So I bought a pair, and I'll tell you what, for those of you who like hiking or whatever, bushcrafting, if you want to wear them for that, which is what I usually wear them for, um, smashing boot, you don't even know you've got them on. It's like you're walking in your socks, but you don't get no pain or dog poo in your toes. But, uh, yeah. I highly recommend these boots. I probably still haven't broke them in, really. But uh, fantastic boot. Never feel uncomfortable wearing them. Um, go and watch my explorer's channel, Mark, where he talks about how he got his boots, how he was chatting to Lofty Wiseman. XSAS serviceman, soldier, blimmin' nice fella, hero, hero. So yeah, if you're in the money for some decent boots, Scarpa. There, I told you. I don't see you before. I'll see you through a window. Tada. Fill this up with water, eel, for our little jaunt this morning, this afternoon. Great bottles again, again, by the way, nice bit of kit. And in my haste to get out the door with that herb up there. Sit. Say hello. Hello. Go on. Go on. Get up. Get up. Go on. Go on, you Herbert. 
Yeah, in my haste to get out the door, uh, filled it up with ordinary tap water. And by jingo, as soon as you open the lid up to take a swig, stinks of chlorine. Absolutely stinks, making it practically undrinkable. Um, I'm down in Kent. Um, I don't know what your water's like, the rest of the country, I know what Wales's water's like. Wales's water's lovely, you, you lather up in the shower in Wales and you can't unsoap yourself. It takes you an hour to get out the shower um, to rinse yourself off. But yeah, the water down here in Kent, <coughs> excuse me, absolutely dire. Um, what's your water like in your area, apart from Wales, because I know Wales. Southern water down here, shower, 